Xbox Kids tutorial on how to install um, Project 4, the X and B replacement for PSP. Go to the link provided on the uh, description, uh, just enter it there, and you'll come to this page. You're going to want to download um, uh, two files, both of which are for Project 4. First of all, download the installer. Um, you're going to see that in the video in just a moment. Uh, and you're going to want to just do theme. Don't install anything else, just the theme. And um, uh, then, well, here, here you go. Okay. Okay, so basically you want to just download theme. And then you want to download um, uh, another file, which is the second one. This includes a theme, which you can, which you should probably insert all files from that one into the one that's installed in the folder, I should say. Now basically download the other file and you're going to want to um, go into Flash 1 for the PSP. Uh, I do in recovery because I've already got it installed. I'll show you oh my theme off that I made for it in a sec, which I'll provide a link for very soon. Or actually right now. So I'm, uh, here I'm, uh, is uh, you just want to go to PSP flash one and the second file comes with the theme you're gonna unzip it and once it's unzipped you'll have two files simplicity which is the theme don't actually put that folder in there just put the files from the folder into the p4 folder on flash one so basically once p4 is there and that's it right there i opened it it'll be labeled as p4 in flash one and you just pop it in there and then you basically got it. That's the deal with it. You just that's how it works. You just pop it in and then you just wanna go back to install and do install full. And that'll install everything. Just do that and um, uh, then you'll have project four should be installed. Um, it's gonna look different from what you see on mine because I've customized mine. And I'll show you how to do that in a sec, too. Okay, so basically, that's done. Okay. Alright, so now we're starting up the PSP into Project 4. You can't customize the Blu-ray thing. Things are missing right now, but basically, you can customize everything else, pretty much. All the movies and stuff. But at the moment, uh, you may not want to download this, because... I don't know, maybe you can find a way to put in the XMB, I personally can't. You could really like recode the thing if you want to, if you're really good at that kind of thing. Shit. And this is my custom theme, Delta X100 is my gamer tag for Xbox Live, if you want to put that in, X00, that is. Um, and basically, you got options here, uh, such as resetting to vanish and stuff. You can go to tools, just calculator and stuff, that's why you need to put it in a step from that theme. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Now, basically, if you want to, like, uh, customize the theme yourself, basically, what you want to do, first of all, put the folders from Simplicity into there. And I'm, uh, uh, so, sorry about a little cough there. We had a little problem with it. Anyway, so what you want to do is put the folders from Simplicity into P4. Okay, just the ones that are missing. And basically, all you need to do to customize is, we got Photoshop and Microsoft Paint, which everybody has, or whatever you have on your Mac. I'm not sure if this will work. Yeah, this will work on Mac. You can do this on Mac. Um, basically, just uh, click on one of the pictures, and um, uh, you can just like double-click that and like customize it. You basically just right-click, edit, and that'll bring you into Windows Paint, and you can just like repaint the entire thing if you want to and um give me a tutorial on how to insert boot sounds and stuff because i'd really like to truly customize it because it should be really worth it it's fine but if you're novice at this it might not be worth it either way um uh, that's your tutorial for customizing themes and i'm uh, putting project 4 on you can customize calendars and everything else pretty much and uh that is basically all you need. It's that's it. That's Project 4 for you. That's how you install a full version. 
Now, it took me a couple tries before work, but that's what I did. It just worked. Okay? Enjoy.